Hello folks, in this movie I will show you building process of new battery using 21700 cells the same one which you will find in Tesla cars so yeah this is like new case from Hylong special design for this uh, 21700 cells the spec of this battery will be 52 volts and uh, total capacity of 15 ampere hours I'm using cells from Samsung 5000 mA capacity per cell yeah. except that this is pretty standard battery what I don't like with this case is that it's coming uh, with this uh, pocket for the controller without this probably it would be easier to squeeze more uh, cells inside it Maybe they will update this design later on. We'll see. Yeah. Okay, so stay with me and we'll watch the whole process. Okay, on the table I put all the components uh, which will be used in this uh, build. So if you don't see like uh, auxiliary cables and other stuff. But this is common for every battery, so I'll just focus on the main components, I would say. So here is the box with all the cells, I'll be building two batteries. Each of them will uh, consist of 42 cells, so there are 84 in total here. You can see very nice packaging from Encon. Cells are protected very well for transport they are in this uh, clear wrap we have to add uh, the gaskets on top of it to protect the plus uh, top connection here is the BMS this is quite a standard one it's called a smart BMS uh, what does it mean? It's you can see this Bluetooth communication port connected to BMS and this module allows to connect a mobile phone and uh, oversee uh, the charging level of every cell group so, so probably there are more options available but it depends on the BMS type some of them can uh, allow they're filling with many parameters of like discharge levels and so on. The basic goal is to have like you know overview about the cells uh, group uh, health and charging levels. That's the most important thing. Here you can see the um, battery box, uh, the interiors of it. Here is the mounting bracket. Unfortunately, this is this. C version with this pocket which takes some space for the cells as you can see yeah. but that's the only one available currently on the market for this 21700 cells so I just need to go with it yeah. so here you can see the plastic trays and battery holders they work the same as uh, for 1865 uh, cells I'm just keeping tight the batteries together. Yeah. Here you can see the connectors between the battery box and this uh, tra tray or bracket. They look like golden plated. Yeah. Good quality. And here is the spot welder I'll be using. To fuse the sink uh, plates of the battery cells. Here you can see the gun, welding gun. I recently purchased this. Very good quality, much better than Sunco. Yeah. Proven already, yeah, it's working very well. And what is good. Oh, I can uh, build whatever size I want 
this flexible harness pistol, whatever you call it. Okay, so let's start uh, designing the battery, maybe. I'll have to arrange the cells in the groups. This will be 52 volt uh, battery, which means I will need uh, 14 uh, series groups. And, uh, what I see, I uh, will have for, like three cells in parallel. Uh, the layout of this rocket is quite good, so these groups will just go like this, one by one, one by one, till the end. Uh, so the welding process should be fairly simple. When it comes to building the battery, the most important thing is to make a proper layout of the cells in the battery. Yeah. So first you are assessing uh, required voltage, the nominal one. And once you have it, and you know the size of the brackets, or the box, you need to assess uh, how many series you will need based on the voltage and then how many cells will be parallel to, uh, to each other and this is affected by the size of the box yeah. so here you can see the layout of the cells starting from group 1 to 14 uh, I mark with colors uh, the negative and positive uh, sides of the cell each cell and with the green color you can see the arrangement of the connecting uh, strips between the cell groups. Yeah. So this is diagram for the right side. Probably. Or left, doesn't really matter. One of the sides. And here is the other side. Okay. So what I'll be doing now, I'll be just putting this these cells in the correct uh, places and then once it's done I will just check the voltages of this it's supposed to be 3.7 volt but it's always better to check it before I will start connecting them okay let's put the batteries or cells in the brackets now On the table you can see the battery, all the cells are connected to each other in parallel and series according to this diagram. So as you can see these green lines are rep representing these uh, zinc uh, connectors. So I put all the leads for balancing cables on the bottom of the battery. I need to protect this side with the isolating tape and then solder the balancing cables. On the table you can see the BMS connected to the battery, 14S type, so there is 15 cables going to different ports of the battery, starting with this black one, which is going to the main negative. Red one is going to the main positive connector. And all these wild, white ones uh, are going to the each cell of the battery. Starting from plus one, uh, plus two, plus three, plus four, and so on, so on. As you can see, they are going at the bottom of the battery. You can see some mess on the table. But this is the last step before connecting all the cabling to BMS. And the negative and positive leads of the battery. So here you can see the main power cables. Discharge cables, you can call it. Here are charging cables going to the charging port. 
Here is this on off switch connector. OBMS. No. As you can see it's important to always isolate all the cabling from each other. The same thing applies to this main discharge lines. And now I can measure the length of the cables and connect them to this uh, charging port on BMS. This is like discharge and here is this main negative going to the battery. This port here. Okay, assembly is completed. All the cables connected. Is the main positive. Here you can see connections to BMS. This is charge indicator. I'll show you. Yeah. You see the max when the battery is charged fully you see four straps now it's like three and battery voltage is around 50 volts now, here is this uh, bluetooth communication module so what i need to do now is just to put the box on top and test this whole battery Here you can see finally assembled battery XP01 model as I remember. So here are the charging port on off switch. Here is this charge level indicator. So as you can see battery works fine show you the voltage readings and that will be all okay here you can see the multimeter connected to the battery needs plus and minus voltage is 50 51 volts and it will be fully charged probably will raise to i don't know 56 58 volts On the table you can see completed battery. I have used uh, smart BMS in this uh, battery, so I will show you quickly how it operates. You can use either mobile phone application or uh, connect battery directly to the computer. Well, mobile phone is most convenient. So uh, the protocol used is uh, Bluetooth. In one of the chapters I'll show you this uh, Bluetooth uh, interface uh, chip. So yeah, once everything is completed and you turn on the battery, you, you just need to install this application and turn it on. Here you can see the parameters of the battery. Like on the top you can see this uh, power draw, big numbers with A. It's like you no know, charge uh, level of the battery. Temperature, the total voltage. Yeah. Further, going further, you can see like remaining capacity. This is based on preset uh, total capacity of the battery. You can change it yourself. Yeah. And here is the most important window showing you the group's uh, status. So you can see the voltage of each group. When the battery is okay. This voltage will be more or less similar for each uh, cell group. If something starts to happen with the battery, like you know, uh, but uh, cell deteriorates or you have disconnected cells, you see that for one of them, the voltage is uh, falling down more than others. This is a sign that something wrong is happening with the battery, and it's time to take it for inspection and reparation. There are some other functions, like scoring, doesn't say anything, and you can set some parameters. Yeah. 
and this window is the most important one. Okay, thanks for watching this movie and see you in the next one.